race against the winds that will be well over 100 miles an hour at landfall and the water. A massive storm surge, forecasters say, could be as high as 25 feet. Well, the forecasters are right, if that's going to be bad, and we've had a go. As ice moves in. And this area, Galveston Island, still looks to be the point of attack for ice. The things that are here are only going to continue to come at you. Okay, thank you. And now we're going to check where Ike is at this minute. And just how strong he is. Jeff Ferner is keeping an eye on the hurricane from the Weather Center. Jeff. Gina, now it's no question this is a powerful storm, and it's not so much the intensity as the size, the scope of it. But let's first answer some of your questions. It is still a Category 2 hurricane. Maximum sustained winds of 109 gusting to 132. It is now 84 miles southeast of Galveston, Texas. This would be the eye of the hurricane. We're going to pull back to a wide view to give you the sense of scope that I was just talking about. And now we're rubbing radar image into our radar system. And you can see the yellow and orange, the most intense areas of precipitation, are just now moving into the Texas coastline. I'm going to adjust that a little bit. And in fact, we're even a little bit closer still. And you can see how that's rotating into Galveston right now, some of that heavier precipitation. To give you a sense of the track and the estimated movement of this storm, we're expecting that it is going to be moving ashore probably within just a matter of hours. The leading edge of the eye wall moving into Galveston probably by about 11 o'clock tonight and then moving inland, at which time it's likely to de-intensify. But notice we're still probably going to be seeing it maintaining Category 1 strength into tomorrow morning as it moves into north.
Devil Man is creating his own currency, and it's perfectly legal. Evening Magazine, tonight at 7, following King 5 News.